Yeah, Ryu definitely proving to be a great, uh, great character. Yeah, in my opinion, probably top five. He's not seen too much at a top level, but when he does show, he's uh, he's pretty great. Like you, you just know, like when you see the character, you know, like oh, like this character is really good. It's just like you need the right kind of person to like take the character to the next level. Yeah. Kind of like with Mewtwo, like Abadango just proved like Mewtwo is a good character. So we're gonna see what Knight can do with Ryu. Game even right now, but Corrin's actually in trouble. Alright, in this matchup, uh, Corrin doesn't have any multi-hit aerials besides there, but to, like, deal with, a uh, focus attack. Great. What do you think of this matchup in general, like, number-wise? I think you it's play both these characters. I think, yeah, I think it's in Ryu's favor, just, like, based off of kill power. Yeah. Um, I could definitely see that. And then just, oh, good back air, taking that stock. It's, like, um, and Cor a lot of Corrin's, like, they try and kill with up air, like Ryu just focuses right through it. Like up air is not really a good option. Alright. Yeah, both these characters have really good low percent combos, so. Definitely. And we see uh we see Knight going for a lot of aerial approaches. Yeah. A lot of aerial uh, defense. Yeah, there we go. Landing fair with Ryu just you know, like, pretty much follows up into like almost all of his aerials. And like fair does like 13 damage, so he just got like fair to back air. That's like 30 yeah. percent. Really good. And like now, like Jake is near kill percent. Definitely. Yeah. A little more rage, a little more percent on on like Jake. Now. He, he can die now. So He'll die to sure you can. Yeah. All right, Knight looking Close for the focus. There. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Yeah, nice back air catching him trying to land on that platform. Yeah, Jake's taking game one. Why are you all dummies? We're not dummies. Shout outs to uh, Lord Sturm. <laughs> you suck. You're free. Uh, we're seeing a switch to Rosa from that. Um, I think Corrin does fine in this matchup. I think she yeah. could it probably even or even in her favor. Knight, however, a lot more comfortable with Knight. Or er, with yeah, with Rosa. Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A Knight main. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, that side B is gonna put so much pressure on Rosa. And even if uh Corrin does a backwards kick, it still hits Luma away and it's completely safe. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely one of the pluses in this matchup. Yeah. Luma makes things incredibly more difficult, as we've seen time and time on top uh, Rosalina players. Yeah, and up airs. Alright, comes down with that dare. Oh, that's one good mix up from Corrin, that dare can uh, help her land and go through a lot of moves. Alright, yeah, look at this ledge pressure. It's yeah. Hard for Corrin to get through. Oh, yeah, and that's Gim. Loom, or, uh, Rosa Dare will go right through Corrin's up B, and just, if he, Knight gets a spike, Corrin's gonna die, pretty much any percent. Oh, and, uh, Corrin's forward throw and back throw also have the hitbox, so, uh, they, yeah, they can hit Loom away. Alright, Corrin off stage. Oh! Alright, Knight doesn't go for the Dare. Yeah. Electing to uh, keep the stage control, however, gets hit up and uh, we're back in nooch. Alright, corner in the air, what are you gonna see? Resets to the ledge. Alright, Knight just reacting to that roll. Really good play from Knight right now. Yeah, that's a nice nair too. Uh, the space get back uh, on the stage. Oh. And Knight really spacing well with those nares and, and forward airs, just really getting a little bit of percent, a little bit of knockback when he can. Oh wow, actually not getting the side beat, not getting the pin on the side beat. Oh, that's oh, it. Go. With rage. Rage. Hear the dragon roar. So, if Jake can make this comeback. Definitely doable. Maybe a little counter high up. 
something like that. Oh, oh nice that hitbox. Frame on the that was really nice. Yeah. Alright, I had to go play a match, so I'm dropping the mic. I'm literally dropping it. Don't do that. He's, he's dropping the mic. Thank you. Yo, that's good. I don't care what anyone says about that. It's good. I like it too. Like, mic? No one's saying anything. Mike. What'd you say? You just said he's dropping the mic. Mike. Mike. Alright, guys. Yeah, it's on. Alright, hey, guys. Demind is back. We're going to go into game three. Ryu, uh, Knights Ryu not working out for game one, switching to Rosa. The tried and true. And we have Jake switching to Dark Pit. Um, I know Dark Pit's pretty good at this matchup just because his side beat destroys Luma and uh, he has a little bit more landing options that you can catch landings pretty well. He's gonna miss that ledge. Yeah. Yeah, for Dark Pit to get that ledge, he has to um, up beat lower. Because, like, on the first couple of frames of his up beat, like, you can see when he up beats, his wings are green. When his wings are green, he won't grab the ledge. Ah, I didn't know that. That's actually, that's actually good information. I did not know that. Alright, yeah, you see the side be getting rid of Luma, so now Dark Pit's gonna get his damage from mostly grabs and uh, juggles. Yeah, but now playing a more defensive game once Luma is out, uh, the smart thing to do, now Luma's yeah, in, we're gonna see a little bit more aggression. Yeah, and Jake not getting much damage from killing that Luma. Oh, what? Alright, so that down tilt sent him forward, backwards, and he got like a dash attack. That was really interesting. Alright, there we go, standard Dark Pit combo, S smash the Luma. I didn't take out the Luma on that platform. Oh, nice. That was really good from Jake taking it. Uh, knowing that the platform was there to save Luma. And he went there to finish off the job. Alright. Now he's just kind of playing defensive. Waiting for his Luma to come back. And there it is. Oh, Electric yeah, shock arm. Mm. Yeah, that move's really laggy on seal. Not a good option to throw out right there, because it's not going to kill Luma there or, or Rosa. Honestly, I feel like that's only a good option at early percents, because yeah, you'll eat a bit of percentage as a punish, but you at least have time to capitalize on it. But once you're at higher percent, you can, you can take your stock. And uh, that's definitely not worth it, even if you get the Luma. Mm. That should have been a forward throw. Forward yeah, throw, I'm pretty sure would have sent out Luma away. Yeah, that's what I'm sure. Oh, that Luma up tilt being so strong with the base knockback. Alright, throws him off. Just kind of lets Luma live there. Alright. Uh, like, that, that was an okay side B. He only took 12% as punish. And uh, that, that ledge thing was his... <laughs> but, uh... He really needs to capitalize on this time. Like, he's not... Throws him off. The arrows aren't going to do much for Rosa. Dark Pit's arrows are pretty lackluster. Yeah, he's getting antsy. I feel like he would he would want to do more offstage stuff. Oh, oh yeah, that's crossing him up yeah. doing that side B. By like dark pit side B, it's good to throw if you know your opponent's gonna go for an attack because it's just the armor the armor right there. Oh, missing that follow up, only getting six percent. Yeah. Missing the turnaround grab. Jake looking a little flustered out there. Yeah, look at this pressure from Luma keeping him on the left side of the stage. Yeah. Oh yeah, that yep. backwards F smash. Alright, uh, Ooh, trying to get trying to get that uh, rapid jab setup going, not yeah, gonna be that able to will do it. Work on, uh, as long as Dark Pit doesn't uh side beat to ledge, that will work on him. Alright, Luma is gone. Now's his chance to capitalize. He needs to capitalize he, he has not capitalized on any time that Luma's been gone, but that down smash might do it. No, it's it's only the the rolls hit. Oh not oh, being yeah, able to no take that, there. he is gonna lose that stock. Knight taking that 2-1.